Guys, do you want to know which software is required for running Java program? So this video is for you. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. In this video, I will be showing you how to install latest Java JDK on your Windows machine. So let's start the video guys. So guys, you can open any of your favorite browser and just search for JDK download. And guys, here you can see official website oracle.com. You need to click on this Java downloads link. So guys, it will redirect you to download page and here you can see we have Java downloads available. So latest we are having uh, Java 23, Java 21 and Java 17. JDK 21 is LTS that is long time support. Here uh, we will be installing this JDK. So guys, here we have different operating systems. So we will be selecting Windows. So here we will be taking x64 MSI installer. So to download this, just click on this link. And guys, you can see the download has been started and it is done guys. So now to start the installation, we need to click on this MSI file. Let me close my browser and here guys, we need to click on next button. And here guys, it is showing me the location where my JDK will be installed. So it will be installed in this location, C colon program file Java under that JDK folder. If you wish to change, click on change button. Otherwise you can click on this next button and now guys it has started installing and the installation is done here it is showing me successfully install guys so i'm going to click on close button so your installation is done guys now if you want to use this java program anywhere in any other id so you need to set the path in the environmental variable that step is important otherwise you may get error that java is not recognized so let's do that so i will be going to my installation location so here c colon program file java and here select the jdk and under that select bin guys and now you need to copy this path okay so copy this path and then search env that is edit the system environmental variable so it will open this window here you need to click on environmental variable button and now guys under system variable we will be clicking on new button so here i am going to create a new variable java underscore home and in variable value I am going to paste the path which I have copied but I am going to remove this slash bin and click on ok and now guys we are already having path variable if you don't have you can again click on new button and create now we will edit this so select and click on edit button click on new button here and paste the copied path guys and click on ok 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 three times so path setting is done guys now my jdk setup is done i can run any java program by using any of the id or editor so now here i'm just starting command prompt by typing cmd in search box and here i'm typing java space hyphen hyphen version and you can see guys it's showing me the version of java it's not showing me any error that means the installation is successful okay now i'm going to show you how you can run any program using this java JDK. So guys here on my desktop I am going to create one folder with the name CS Corner and then guys inside this folder I am going to create one Java program. I am going to use a notepad as my editor. So here now I am just uh, right clicking and I am creating a new notepad file over here so text file and then i'm giving a file name as hello world.java so guys here uh, the text extension will be removed txt extension will be removed and java extension will be given so it is showing me this message so i'm just going to click on yes button if you are not able to see extension you can go to view menu and you can click on show extension you will be able to see the extension now guys let's open this file so i'm going to open with notepad and here now i'm going to type a simple code so class hello world open a curly bracket close a curly bracket now we will be writing main method in java so public static void main and pass the string parameter to it so string args and then open a curly bracket close curly bracket and system dot out dot print for printing anything on console and this message i am printing guys and let me put semicolon okay so the code is done now let's save this now let's go to file menu and select this save option or you can press ctrl s button also so the program is saved now let's see how to run this program so you need to just go to the folder wherever you have saved your program 
program so here my program is inside cs corner so i'm going to this folder and simply i'm typing cmd over here so it will start a command prompt with this path and then you can type a command for compiling your program so we are typing java c space hello world dot java so guys it will compile and it is going to create one dot class file so in your folder it has created one dot class file now uh, to run the program you need to simply type java space and your program name so java space hello world and hit enter guys and guys you can see your expected output so guys this way you can install java jdk on your system and you can run your java program so i hope guys by following my video you are really able to install jdk and you are able to use it. So guys if really my video has helped you then don't forget to hit on like button and share my videos with your friends also guys and if you have any kind of query you can put in comment box or you can send me on instagram but before sending you need to follow me on instagram otherwise i will not get your message guys guys and guys i'm there on different social media you can uh, follow me or join me uh, the link of all of my social media is in description box you can join my telegram channel for various pdf and notes so guys uh, i have other channel also code with sunita there i teach coding in hindi certainly you can join if you are interested in learning coding in hindi so please subscribe to that channel also and guys if you are new to this channel please subscribe to this channel and don't forget to hit on bell icon to receive notifications from this channel so guys thank you for watching this video i'll see you in my next video till that bye bye take care keep watching and keep learning guys